heavy winds whipped snow around Hampton Beach. Conditions, conditions there have been pretty rough all morning long. You can check out this image from our photographer. Railing completely frozen over there. That's that washover that we were talking about this morning. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live from Hampton with the latest from there. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Well, not your typical day of lounging at the beach, but... The snow is okay, I suppose. You know, we came here just to give you guys an idea of the snow drift, just how powerful it's been today. We came here at 4:30 in the morning, drove right through this area, no problem at all. A few hours later, and a couple feet of snow, but from this drift, we can't even drive through it. It's really incredible to see this wind today and the snow drift. Those are two of the main stories here on the coastline. Strong winds, high waves, and snow everywhere. The blizzard has paralyzed Hampton Beach. But if you live around here, crazy weather comes with the territory. It's not too bad we haven't lost power or anything. Uh, we're prepared for it. So it's not too bad the wind is the, uh, the big thing. It's great. I love it. The New England weather is perfect. John Wolf wanted to get a good look at the beach. Yeah, I just wanted to go take a look at the ocean and check it out, see how bad it was. The wife was with me, but she's Chicken note. At high tide around 4.30 Tuesday morning, water flooded parts of Ocean Boulevard and High Street. This is the north side of the Hampton coastline. Take a look at this guardrail, completely frozen all the way down. And then just beyond that, the waves, look at them. They're massive, powerful, just crashing right into the shoreline. Near the Hampton Beach Casino Ballroom, we found Steve Carroll out for his usual six mile walk along the Hampton Strip. Six mile walk in this kind of a blizzard. What are you thinking? Oh, nothing. We're used to it. Nothing like 78. Carroll says his walk isn't all that bad. States, you know, they're out there. They're doing a great job plowing, at least the main road. So, oh no, regular walking, really. Little jogging, too. Others did what they could to dig out. As long as everyone stays off the road and just kind of stays warm and checks on their neighbors, I think everybody would be good. Well, tonight high tide will be at 5 o'clock, so that's something that officials are keeping a close eye on. But with no new moon and no full moon, officials are expecting minor, if any, flooding here in Hampton. That's latest live at Hampton Beach. Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.